brief. The brief is the beginning. So in other words, your client is going to brief you. The way that we do this is, so let's say there are certain types of clients that we have more than one group. So some clients have two groups, three groups. We do have a client this year that's got four groups. All of you, for that particular client, we get you in a room, the client is here, they brief you, they give you a written brief and a verbal brief. What your aim for that briefing is to understand what the client is actually asking you to do. If you don't understand what the client's asking you to do, obviously you're going to go in the wrong direction. So you need to have a strong understanding. If I don't have a brief, I don't have a project, essentially. How do I start working on something if I don't actually know what the client is asking me to do? And most of your clients will also give me some background information around the organization, where we've come from, what we've done so far, what we think the issue is, what we think the problem is. Very important. Please read your briefs. Read them again. Why? To make sure that I have a very clear understanding of what the client is asking me to do. It's not what I think they're asking me to do, it's what they're actually asking me to do. Okay, ask the right question. So normally you would only get one shot at this. So you see the client once, they come in for a briefing, you get one shot to ask them questions. So you've read something in the brief or the client has said something not quite making sense, jot it down and when you get an opportunity, ask the question. Don't start formulating anything. Don't start thinking, oh wow, this concept is gonna work, or wow, I'm gonna do this kind of research, until you understand exactly what the big picture is, what are they actually asking you to do. Does this make sense? Mm -hmm. So some examples of what a brief might ask you to do. Is it asking you to create brand awareness for a new product or brand? Okay, these are just examples. Is it asking you to reposition a brand? Is it asking you to understand customer perceptions? So this is where we, so we see the brand positioned. This is what customer perceptions are. What is the gap? How do I address that? Is it asking you to position a, a new brand that's not in the marketplace at the moment? Is it asking you, so for example, we are this really cool brand and we've done all of these wonderful things and we are in the marketplace. How do we stay there? How do we stay cool? How do we stay in the mind of the consumers? Where do I go from here to stay in that space? Because we don't want to become complacent. We want to move on. We want to stay in that space if that's working. Make sense? Starting a brand from scratch. What do I need to launch this brand? To create brand awareness for an existing brand. So maybe I have a brand that's been around for a while but that not a lot of people know about. What do I need to do to create that? Create a brand identity for an existing brand. So maybe I'm changing the way I do things, or the current brand identity is not working any longer, or it hasn't been working. How do I change it and fix it? Do you understand how important this process is? So let's say I decide that I want to create brand awareness, but that's not actually what the brief is asking you to do. Maybe the brief is asking you to reposition, reposition a brand, which means I'm gonna go down the wrong road. I'm gonna present all the wrong things. Okay, so you need to have a strong understanding of what the brief is asking you to do. So unless you understand clearly what it's asking you to do, you're gonna ask all the wrong questions, get the wrong answers, target the wrong consumers, and present the wrong strategies. Because from the beginning, you were going south. So you all need to be on the same page, and that means you, all of the people in your group must be talking the same language. So Ashley thinks it's repositioning, and Cornelia thinks it's brand awareness. I don't know, the panel thinks it's something different, and the client thinks it's something completely different. Mm -hmm. okay. Does it happen? Yes, <laughs> it does happen, and that's why at the beginning, so when you start the process, when you present to the panel, you present what you think the brief is asking you to do so that we can say, yes, you're on the right track, no, you guys are like totally off, think about it again, reread it. You must have agreement in your group and obviously the panel and the client, but we're all on the same page. In terms of the briefing, do the, if a brand is being handled by four groups, 
Do those four groups get briefed at the same time yes. or individually? Same time, you all get the same information. We, we, we wouldn't do separate briefings, so you all get exactly the same brief, you get exactly the same information. You're all in the room and you ask questions, so you all at exactly the same starting point. Why are you asking that particular question? I'm just thinking that if there's four groups of 10 each, the 40 people, then there's not, like, you know. No, it'll be groups of between five and seven people, depending on whether you have a multimedia or not. So you're looking at maybe 20 people, 25 people in a room. Okay. You will get an opportunity to ask questions. Okay, yeah. Um, as, uh, I mean, are the different groups allowed to share information or research? No. In terms of the fact that, let's say, you do research and you get a particular finding or insight, yeah. You wouldn't share it with that group. They must do their own research. They must get their own information, their own insights. If there is going to be, let's say, the client comes in and says, listen, we need to give you additional information, then we'll get you all together again. But your research is your research for your group. Okay, because you, your research might have led you in a particular direction that gives you some stunning insights that the other group doesn't get because their research was completely different. So you wouldn't share that information. Okay?